Okay then, here we go. It's another wonderful morning. I have got um, some stuff to talk about this morning. Dry Creek Wrangler School, who is a channel that I watch on YouTube that I get inspired for these videos um, from quite a bit. They uh, just hit 1 million subscribers, so congratulations to them. That is really awesome. I tend to mention two channels whenever I talk about the inspiration I had to make these videos, and that's either Dry Creek Wrangler School or Sam Sulek. And so um, what I like to do when these sorts of milestones happen is I go back and see just how long they've been uploading for. And so Dry Creek Wrangler School's oldest video was uploaded two years ago. Sam Sulex's oldest video was uploaded one year ago. So anywhere between one and two years is a good point in which to maybe expect some level of success. I have to mail out a bill this morning, so I'm going to pull out of the car and I'm going to go into the post office and mail this bill. I'm going to leave you guys running. I'm also going to leave my mic on. Don't know if you guys will be able to hear me all the way in there or not. Don't know if I'm going to be doing much talking in the post office either. But we'll get back to the topic when I get back. I'll be right back. Can you still hear me? I started mailing my bills instead of, um, it looks like I can, you can still hear me, yay, awesome. Anyway, I started mailing my bills instead of paying them online because there's like a $3 service fee to pay online. And even though $3 is kindly a piddly amount of money, I don't want to give any more money to these people than I have to. And so I am going to pay by check and let them handle out all that fun stuff. And yeah, but anyway, going back to what I was talking about, Dry Creek Wrangler School hit a million. Sam Sulek has been at a million now for, I think, a while. But looking at how long they've been doing it and trying to see like what I should reasonably accept, expect for myself. So as I said before, Dry Creek Wrangler School had been making videos for two years, judging by the one million subscriber video they just made and the fact that their oldest video is two years old. I'm going to say it took them about two years to reach one million, which is a huge landmark. But like they were extremely successful before then even. And so what would be interesting for me to figure out is like at what point in time did they start getting like major traction on their channel? And like what caused that? Was there a single video that just blew up beyond belief for them? Or um, is it like a combination of things? I don't know that these people run ads on their channels or anything very much. And that's like my thought process for any of these things is just run an ad, just run an ad, just run an ad. And the more I look around, the less effective of a strategy I feel like that is because running ads uh, doesn't guarantee a following. It guarantees that people might see your content, but that only gets you so far. And so like I am stuck at this pay to win stage in my social media journey. And I think that's due largely in part to the fact that like that's, oh, I feel like it's, they say to find your unfair advantage. And I feel like that is my unfair advantage. The fact that I can afford to actually leverage these platforms, um, advertising programs. But like, where does that realistically leave me? Like pay to win isn't, hasn't been a real great strategy for me yet. It's been kind of lackluster. And now granted, I haven't 
very seriously run ad campaigns and really try to grind my gears and, and get some good content out there. But to the same end, like, I have been trying and I have done it. And, like, I keep going back to the two, like, legitimate followers I've gained out of Instagram, both of which came from one ad that I ran on a video. And I don't even remember what video it was at this point. And so what I've got to now figure out or do is like maybe do that more consistently because like I don't remember how much I paid for that ad but like only gaining two followers out of it's kind of piddly and like you really you do have to start somewhere and you pick up traction as you go along and so this billboard thing drives me nuts every time I see it. I have tried to call them now twice to get a billboard up and they refuse to answer my calls. I've even emailed them now at this point. But anyway, um, back to the task at hand. And it's just interesting and like this new month, that's really what I plan on playing with is trying to figure out like, okay, um, how can I leverage advertising? to my advantage and is that something that I can even do? Can I leverage advertising in a way that is advantageous to me or am I just stuck um, trying to make it work the other way? Because myself as a content creator and as a person who enjoys certain degrees of content, I don't necessarily like the idea of doing pay to win. I don't like shoving myself down people's throats because I am um, able to do that through paying through advertisements. And I watched a video on a rather trustworthy YouTube channel that talked about YouTube growth. And they basically said that advertisements are not a great way to go because most people just skip the ad as soon as they get the option to do so. And it's very rare that people go and see an ad for a channel and like, let's go watch this. And I mean, I get where they're coming from because it's not overtly, um, it's not what you came for. You stopped on a video more often than not to watch the video you, wa you, you chose to watch. And so any other video at that point is just an interruption. Now, what I do find myself doing sometimes if the ad is interesting enough, I'll open it on a new tab and then I'll try and go back and watch it at some point in time, but that's hit or miss whether or not that actually happens. And I've kind of discussed this before, but I feel like ads on um, Instagram tend to be more successful than ads on YouTube. And I think that's because of the nature of the platform. On Instagram, the ads pop up as you're scrolling. So you're just scrolling through your feeds, not trying to see what people are up to. And then boom, there's an advertisement for something just in the middle of your feed and you may or may not be more interested in interacting with it. And the reason why I feel like ads are more successful on Instagram is because they, um, they're integrated with the platform. So like you're just scrolling and you see these things naturally as you would see anything on that platform. And so I feel like that's a big reason why um, they're successful there, but not so much in, um, in YouTube. And like maybe I just haven't gone deep enough into the ad part of, of YouTube yet, but like I feel like it would almost be better if you could pay for your spot to be on a, a related video or on a... Um, on a one when it queues up and it's gonna autoplay another video, if you could pay to have your video be in the autoplay queue, things of that nature. But like the in screen video ads where it's like, hey, come check out my channel. I don't think that um, I don't think that's a good way to do it. I don't think that's gonna be successful. But um, essentially, just trying my darndest at figuring out what I need to do. I am way behind on stuff here lately. I um, have not had a very productive week already. It is Thursday. I have not uploaded a single video. I haven't worked on my book at all. 
I have not done much of anything this week and it feels like crap. I'm like, why is this week such a lame week? And like yesterday, I went and talked to a buddy of mine um, when I probably shouldn't have, but oh well. And I don't know, like everybody is allowed to have weeks off but it just feels unproductive and it feels like I'm just not doing the proper kind of work to get things done at this point. So I don't know, I'm just hoping that I can bounce back and get to a good place. My kitchen is a disaster zone, I need to do laundry and there's like just a lot of crap that's piling up and then every day that happens I'm not being overly productive in the matter. This person in front of me is breaking and I don't know why. I think it's just because the person in front of him is slow. But, um, so, yeah, I don't, don't know. We're gonna keep on keeping on and hopefully I find something that works and that's what we'll talk about because that's what you guys will be more interested in. Um, Dry Creek Wrangler School, congratulations for 1 million subscribers. That's a huge accomplishment. Maybe in a year's time I'll be there. Who knows? My new book, um, If Ghosts Could Cry, launched yesterday. The launch so far has been underwhelming, but that's due largely in part to my own inability to promote it. I have tried to... Um, I wanted to do, I had a whole program that I had planned on doing. I was going to put it up on a billboard, I was going to do a launch event, I was going to do all these things, but um, now I don't know if I'm going to do any of them. It's just, and I don't want to complain, but it is a lot of work. Like a lot of people um, maybe underestimate that or don't, I don't know, but it's not that, it's like writing the book is enough work and then trying to get people interested in it and wanting to read it is a whole nother beast. And that's why I originally wanted to try traditional publishing because going down that road is just like, you feel like you're banging your head against the wall. This is the, the now the fifth or sixth book that I've put out in the world only for it to get virtually nowhere. And it's just annoying. It's like, why? can I not have any sort of success? Why am I stuck um, just not succeeding? And so, I don't know, do what I can, try and make the most of things, and I, I don't know, it's just, I am constantly waxing and waning. And I sat down today to talk to you guys about all of the success that Dry Creek Wrangler School had, and the fact that it only took them two years, the fact that it only took Sam Sulek one year, and I was supposed to be inspiring myself to be like, yeah, I got this, I can go out and do it and, and be good, but <laughs> the more I talk about it, the less I'm like, yeah, I got this, and I'm like, oh, this, this is never gonna happen. And so, try not to wallow in that, uh, personality try not to wallow in that thought process and like accept the fact that it takes time dedication and work and I'm giving it time dedication and work so hopefully eventually I will reap the rewards of those things and that I won't just ultimately give up and I feel like a big portion of that is I feel like time is taking away. I've decided to take the whole family thing seriously by the time I hit 30. And I'm gonna hit 30 here, not this May, but next May. So I've got like a year and a half to figure out what the heck I'm doing, or in my mind, completely turn off what I'm doing and try something else. And that's not necessarily acceptable right now, like to just turn off the creativity is not something that I want to do. And so, I don't know. Um, just keep on keeping on, keep on doing what we can do and trying to get somewhere in life that is better than where we are. And that's all, that's all I can really ask for. 
And so hopefully something starts to happen. We're a month in and I feel like I have not gotten any sort of significant traction on this. Like my video about CM Punk made it decently far. My video about um, people hating their jobs made it pretty far. But like that's kind of it. Most of these videos, like I've uploaded 30 videos, most of them get three, anywhere from three to 10 views. And it's just, it's hard not to let that get to you. And that's why I'm not motivated to upload these videos because I'm like, what's the point? Like, there is no point in doing this because no one cares and I can't make them care and I can't find a way to talk about something that they care about, apparently. And so and that's the active struggle that I face. Um, Dwayne from Dry Creek Wrangler School was talking about um, their success and how they succeeded and how they were making videos on YouTube that were very unconventional and nobody really, everybody was like, that's not what's going to succeed on YouTube. People won't watch that or whatever. And he said a quote that I really much enjoyed and he said, I'd rather succeed or no, he said, I'd rather fail being myself than succeed being someone else. And that rings true to me because like, in my opinion, putting on a personality and putting on an act is something that is meant for like movies and TV shows, cartoons, anime, so forth. Like it's something that you are acting in, but like in a video of this nature, like what appeals to me is when I feel like I am talking to the real person, when I feel like I am connecting with the real person and like these wild and over the top personalities, like most people know that that's not reality. It's entertaining, it's entertainment, sure, but it's not reality. And so that's what I'm hoping to appeal to here is just a guy who drives to and from work every day and he talks to you about whatever he talks to you about when he's driving to and from work every day. And um, I don't know at this point in time how I feel about these sorts of things. Um, I don't know at this point in time what I should be talking about. And so, I don't know. We will, we will just keep on going and keep on trying. There's no reason. That's the nice thing about the content that I have going on right now is there's no reason for me not to film these videos. Like, I have to drive to and from work every day regardless, unless I'm not working. And so I ought as well try and make something productive out of that time. Like the 18 minutes I drive here, I can dedicate to filming a video and hoping my darndest that by the time the um, video is up, it's uh, something that people care to listen to. And if nothing else, I have an avenue in which to spill my thoughts, which is something that I can also be appreciative of. But um, ultimately, I feel like that is the sort of comfort level that I need to reach with what I'm doing and then just let the attention kind of garner itself and stop trying to rush it along it happens in time um, if I have the ability to advertise it along then do so cool but if I don't then that's fine because I don't think all these other successful people were dumping a whole lot of money into these projects I think they were just succeeding and so hopefully I can manage something to that nature as well and as always, thank you all for tuning in, those of you who did, and we will see you all again next time.